Hello everyone, welcome to GIS Main. I'm Miles Lee. Long time no see. So this time I would like to introduce you how to install and configure the ArcGIS standalone server or Linux operating system. So many people have already installed the ArcGIS server or ArcGIS Enterprise on Windows system. But I think that knowing how to install and configure the ArcGIS server on Linux system is very important and has lots of advantages. For example, everyone knows that uh, Linux and Unix is an open source operating system, which means that you don't need to pay the extra money to buy the license of Windows operating system. Uh, the Windows data center 2019, 2021, and 22 can be expensive. This is one thing. Uh, the other thing is that Linux operating system usually consumes very less memory and CPU resource comparing to Windows operating system. This is very important because uh, you can use more remain memory and CPU resource for your other core functionalities, such as your Arch server, Arch enterprise, or any other third party database and application deployed on your server. So let's get started to see how to do it. So as what you can see, this is the Linux systems I use. I use a uh, Zen OS 7. You can take a look. OS release, okay. So what you can see, uh, I'm using the Zen OS 7 operating system, which is a very lightweight uh, Linux system. Okay. And before we uh, do the real installation, uh, one thing we will need to make sure is that we can't do it under the root account because it will uh, result in lots of security issues. And on the other hand, the ArcGIS installation file does not uh, allow us to do that as well. So we will need to create a new normal account without the root privilege and then switch to that account for our installation, okay? I have already done that before come to this video. Uh, I will show you what the account is. So it's very simple. Also use uh, cap EDC password, okay? And then I just create actually the account name called ArcGIS. This is the account without any root privilege and administration right, okay? So we will need to suit to this account to do the uh, installation. Otherwise, the system will get some errors. For example, if I directly want to set up under the root account, okay, if we I, if we install that straight away, you can see check for installation as root is failed, okay. This is because I mean uh, the installation itself is not allowed to do that. So we will need to sue to the ArcGIS normal account. Another thing we will need to say is that uh, we will also need to set the system limits for the file handles number. So uh, defaultly, the Linux operating system, I mean, got a very less, very less uh, uh, file handles number. It's around 4096, I remember which is not enough for our system. So you will need to adjust it. Okay, uh, I will show you, I mean, uh, let's let's take a look. I remember it's under ETC security limits, okay, dot config file. So uh, what you can see here is I amend four more rows under the button of this file. Normally setting, I mean, this one in Linux is 4096, which is uh, too small to uh, to be used in ArcGIS server, okay? ArcGIS server usually use a large chunk of uh, file handles, handlers, okay? 
So uh, I just amend these four lines to adjust the file handler's number, which will be okay for Archie server. And then we confirm this is okay, and we will need to sue to Archie's normal account to do the installation. So now what you can see, the account has already been switched to Archie's, okay? And now if this time we do the setup again, no error will be shown. So you see everything is passed. And then we will need to click enter to continue, okay? So again, click enter to continue. Just follow the instruction, okay? Click enter. And here you need to read about the license agreement. There are heaps of, um, heaps of uh, writings here. I've read uh, several times, so I don't need to read it. But for you, you need to read it to avoid any violation of the SV license, okay? So now what you need to choose is to uh, choose either you would need to install GIS server, of course, yes. And secondly, Ahmed runtime support, you can either choose yes or no. But for me, because I checked the online documents, okay, uh, when we need to, when we can disable the Ahmed runtime, is that we want to remove the Python 2.x, and also we are ready to migrate to Archie's pole based runtime. So just for this one, I want to keep the Python 2.x. So I want to, you know, keep using the runtime support, okay? So what you need to do is to choose one and two to install everything, okay? So just click enter. And here you will need to uh, click, uh, you, you need to enter the absolute path for our uh, license. So this is my uh, evaluation license, and this is the absolute path. Okay, so I will need to type it here, home Archie's, Archie's server, okay? So it would be home Archie's, and then capital letter Archie's uh, server, and then 109 evaluation dot PRVC. Okay. Uh, points to a file that already exists on the target system. The installer cannot over. Okay, sorry. This one is not yet to access to install the to, to use the uh, license file. Okay, here is just um, it asks us to choose the folder to install the Archie server. So we just click enter. Okay, we just click enter to uh, use the default install folder. Okay, and then we install both services. GIS server is the main code functions and Archie's runtime support. This is keeping the Python and here is the require disk space and the variable disk space. Everything is fine. So we click enter. Okay. We just click enter. So it will take a while to install the whole packages, but generally speaking, it's far more faster than uh, installing the same things on Windows. Okay, and uh, we can turn on the terminal to we'll take a look at the memory it use. So what you can see, I mean, uh, this is advantages why we install the stuff on Linux because uh, my VPS got 8 gigabyte and it just used very less memory for our operating system and then I mean we have a lot of free I mean 
free space to use to install our stuff. Okay. So it will take a while. Just be patient. Okay. Just be, just be patient. Okay, so now, so now, I mean, uh, we are required to, you know, to uh, authorize the license. So now is where we will need to input our uh, license, at the server, and then what's the name? One zero nine evaluation. Dot PRVC. Okay, so now we enter it. Authorization file not found or not readable. Okay, let's uh, go back to the previous steps. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens. So no problem. Uh, one oh nine valuations dot PRVC. Okay. Let's see how it goes. This time, this time I think it should be fine. Okay. So this is the initial evaluation, and then after that we would need to do. The extra evaluation. I don't know why. Maybe this is a S3 standard, but this is what we need to do. That we need to firstly click enter to X the installer. Okay, we need to click enter to X the installer. Come on. Okay, now it's done. So everything remain will be the same as that on uh, the Windows operating system. We copy and paste this link. Okay, let's just we copy and paste this link, and then just wait for a while. It will lead us to the Archie Server Manage page this is exactly the same as you know our windows environment 